Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in another video. This one's going to be about seven signs God's opening new doors of opportunity. And before I start this video, guys, I have a second channel. So if you guys want to subscribe to that, link down below in the description. Okay. And when I talk about opportunities, I'm not just talking about businesses and money. I'm talking about also maybe God's about to give you a marriage. Uh, you're about to start a family. You're about to have a, a child. Um, or maybe you have like a ministry. A ministry is about to grow. So there's many things of opportunity. So don't just think it's linked to money and material things all right so let's go let's go don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel number one is you've been praying you've been seeking and asking okay the bible says asking uh it shall be given to you seek and you shall find and pray 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 okay now when you're doing this this is one thing i noticed when i was asking i was praying i was seeking and there was times where i just i was like you know where's where's my where's my towel at think it's in the bathroom but sometimes i want to just throw in the towel and see whenever you feel like giving up after you've been let's say you've been praying you've been asking you've been seeking right for like let's say just for example like for six months and you yeah you might see a little bit of progress but it's not the progress you would expect because for how much work you put it in usually when you feel like giving up guys that is when you that is when the blessing comes okay so always understand that when you've been praying you've been asking you been seeking that's his word okay if it's if it's especially if it's linked to god's will in your life God wants to prosper you because, you know, you've been honoring his commandments, okay? Best believe, guys, usually when that time happens, I can speak from my own experiences too. That is when the blessing's about to come, okay? So, guys, don't stop praying. Don't stop seeking. Don't stop asking. Don't stop seeking the kingdom of God. Don't stop praying. Praying God for guidance, okay? Don't just pray for blessings, you know? Also pray for uh, for guidance, you know? Pray for protection. Uh, pray for wisdom. Ask God for wisdom because what does Solomon do, guys? Uh, the King Solomon, the richest man on this earth, okay? He asked God for wisdom and understanding. And through his wisdom, through his understanding, he was able to obtain everything. Okay, this man had, I think it was like 700 wives. He had 700 wives, 300 concubines. He had everything this world had to offer, okay, through wisdom. So you guys, I want every you guys to be asking God for wisdom, okay, wisdom to guide you. Okay, number two is God will bring people in your life in a higher position to elevate you, okay? Yes, God is a plug, but God can also use other people to, to put you on the bible even says in proverbs chapter 18 verse 16 a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men so your gift whatever the gift may be will bring you forth great men. people in a high position in life god will make sure you guys come together that I person might give you a shout out that might person might show you love or that might that person want to work with you and now you know god used him to put you on because remember it's all god god is the one who gives power to put someone on Hey, yes, the devil could do it too, obviously. But if you're doing it in a righteous manner, God can give you the power to put you on. And he will put someone in a position of power, someone who's been honoring his commandments, someone who's been honoring him in general, right? Will put you guys together. Okay, a man gifts, makes room for him, and brings him before a great man. Wow, all praises, okay? Number three is the door will give you many confirmations, okay? There's many confirmations I had, guys, before my YouTube channel blew up. Many people told me, Mark, you're about to be the next big thing. Marty, uh, like I didn't, I didn't, when people told me that guys, I didn't believe it. I didn't think that was possible, but see other people will see it before you see it. I'm telling you, bro. Just like I told you guys, the devil knows you're about to receive something before you, before you uh, about to receive it. That's why he does everything in his power to stop you from getting that blessing. Everything that's going to stop you from your calling from God, to stop you from getting those blessings. He don't want, he doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to be at peace. He comes to steal, kill and destroy. Okay. And always understand that people will, t will, will tell you, give you confirmations like Mark, stay on the right path, man. You're doing your thing or whatever your name is, whoever's watching this video. Who, who I, and I feel like this video is going to touch someone's heart, man. It's going to touch their soul. And that's what it's all about. Okay. Whoever's watching this video, understand that when you've been putting in work, remember faith without works is dead. And the Bible says, if a man doesn't work, he shall not eat. Okay. So you can't just be praying, God, please bless me with this. Please bless me with that. And you ain't putting in no work to, to inherit that blessing, guys. You got to, you got to put your hands to work. Okay. So always understand that. God will get will give you confirmations through other people, guys. I'm telling you, especially whatever field you're in. Let's say if you have like a um, you got like a cooking a cooking business, right? And God will use someone who's in a high position in the cooking business. Like, wow, you got you got some, you got a good brand. You know, keep doing your thing. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Okay. Number four. You have been. Oh, actually, before I jump into number four. Okay, number three. That's like you got a YouTube channel. Other people are gonna be telling you. Like, there's one content creator. I've been telling, I was like, bro, you're about to be the next big thing. You know, I, I could see it, bro. I could see it, you know, and, you know, just keep on focusing. So other people, God will give you other confirmations, man. Number four, you have been seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness, okay? You've been seeking the kingdom of God, which is within you. The kingdom is within you, right? And his righteousness, right? So what does that mean? It means 
to be your best to live a righteous lifestyle, to be to be your, to do your best to have faith in Christ. Okay. Like I said, keeping God's commandments, that's how we show we love him, by keeping his Ten Commandments. Okay, doing the best we can, of course, we're under grace, but we don't want to willfully, you know, disobey God. Okay, so when you've been seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness, especially if it correlates to this, you've been seeking, okay, you've been asking, you've been praying. Okay, God, you know, please give me an opportunity. Um, and, and see, when, when you pray to ask God for an opportunity, you got to show him that you want it. Now you got to start working. You got you to start putting your hands to work. You got to start finding things to, to do, bro. And when God, when God sees that, he's like, okay, he's, he's willing to work. Okay, so always understand that, man. This is a, this is one of the most important things. Seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you guys. That is the most important thing you all want to be doing. Okay, and see, the thing about this, the thing about these lists, guys, it's free. You know, it, all this stuff is free. So, you know, it's all about, now, of course, we're going to start denying our flesh. And, you know, I know a lot of us got, got certain addictions that we're battling with. But, you know, guys, if you want that blessing, which I'm going to go with number five, okay, when you, when, you, when you want that blessing, guys, it's to require a new version of you. It's to require a new level. Okay, new levels, new devils. Are you ready? Are you ready for that blessing, guys? Are you ready? I'm telling you, man. God will, he will show you. Okay, he, he will show you. You just got to continue seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness. Okay, number five. You will feel lonely, alone, discomfort. Okay, that's what you're going to start to feel, guys. Before that op the door, new, new door opportunity comes, you're going to start to feel lonely, Okay, you're gonna start to feel alone. You might even feel some discomfort. Okay, and the Bible says, "Through much is given, much is required." Okay, through much is given, much is required. Okay, so yes, you're gonna lose people. You're gonna lose friends. You're gonna lose family members. Uh, toxic relationships. Uh, you might lose, you know, certain coworkers, whatever the case may be. Right, you're gonna start to lose people, guys. But always understand, too much is given, much is required. And like I always tell you guys, the reason why you start to lose people because that blessing God has for you is for you. It ain't for them. It ain't for the, your coworker. It ain't for that, that boyfriend, girlfriend who's taking you down there, down a, the wrong path. It's for you. You know, and God is the jealous God. When he gives you a blessing, he doesn't want the other person to he, the other person didn't work for it. And he's going to eat off the plate that God prepared just for you. He prepared a table for you, not for him, not for her. Okay, so you might have to you might have to lose people, guys. And see a lot of people they get in this phase of isolation. And it's just a season. Isolation is never forever. God doesn't want you to be alone forever. But when you, when you stay on the uh, you're on the isolation season, right, for a week or two weeks, and you're like, I'm done. I can't. I, I'm not strong enough, God. I can't do it no more. Okay, you can miss out on your blessings, guys. You got to endure. Through much is given, much is required. It's a require a new version of you. It's a require change, repentance, doing the right thing. Okay, like I said, righteousness. Not just, to seek, not just the kingdom of God, but righteousness. This is a require a change. And see, when God sees you trying to elevate, when God sees you trying to do the right thing, when God sees you suffering for righteousness, say, best believe he's in the midst of that, in the midst of you suffering, he is preparing a table, a big table for you to eat off of. And not just for you to eat off of, your family to eat off of, your, your children to eat off of. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Oh, man, y'all don't hear me. Woo! Y'all don't hear me, bro. Y'all smash a like button. Smash, man, everyone needs to watch this video, man. Smash like one. Number six, opportunities will come with no, with no sorrow, okay? Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 says, The blessing of the Lord, it make rich, and he adds no sorrow into it. Now, is that talking about how you're not going to face trial and error? You're not going to face problems? No. Sometimes, guys, God will purposely allow a trial and tribulation in your life for you to grow off of it, for you to become more stronger. Because some things that I've learned in life, I would have never obtained unless it was through a certain trial and tribulation that God, you know, brought, brought into my life. I always say God brought into my life because the Bible says that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Okay, so God allowed that to happen for me for a testimony so I could teach you guys, so I could teach my children, future generations. Okay, so always understand that the opportunities will come with no sorrow. The blessing of the Lord, it make rich, okay? And he adds no sorrow with it. The devil, when the devil's blessing you right, it comes with sorrow. It comes with a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain. But when God's blessing you guys, it's going to be no, no sorrow or no pain. Because like I said, I'm not gonna, when you're in the isolation season, you're feeling the uh, loneliness and stuff like that, discomfort. Yes, yes, you will have to go through, you know, some pain and stuff like that. But that's different because when the blessing comes, okay, yeah, you're going to have to suffer a little bit. No, nothing comes to you freely. Okay, nothing comes, never in the life ever comes to you freely. You got to go through it to get to it. Okay, you got to go through in life to get through in life. Just like Jesus, before he made it to the kingdom of God. Before he ascended, okay, he had to go through the snake, Judas. He had to go through fake friends, betrayal, fake love, getting hated on, getting stones cast on him. He had to go through that to get where he went through. So best believe when it comes to you getting your blessing, you're going to have to go through it to get through it, man. 
It's a part of this journey. It's a part of life. Embrace it. Embrace it, guys. Change our, reprogram our mind. The, the, new, the renewing of your mind, guys. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Renew your mind, okay? The pro, and, and, you know, and you'll see, you'll see why, what comes with renewing your mind. You're more at peace because you have understanding. You have wisdom. You have knowledge, man. Number seven, God will use that opportunity to draw you closer to him and to humble you, okay? God will use that opportunity. Like I was talking about, it's not just like, it's not just for a business. It could be like your ministry, okay? It will. He will purposely allow that to happen because he knows that you've been, he, 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 he's preparing you, okay? You, you, because the Bible says, "Blessed is a man who who endures temptation." So, when all the temptations comes your way, you endure those temptations. You don't fall into the snare of going back to your vomit. You don't fall into the snare of going. You know, you're going forward in life, right? You don't fall into the snare of going backwards. Okay, God try to elevate you. God try to make you go forward in life. You don't fall into that snare of going backwards. So, best believe it's going to draw you closer to Him, and also it's going to humble you. You know what do you mean, Mark, by humble you? Okay, so much much is given, much is required, and what God gives you, He could also take it away. Everything God is blessing you with, the opportunity, he could also take it away. So that humbles you. That's going to humble you because you understand that, you know, everything that he gave me, it, it just like this could just take it away. So then, so that keeps you being humble. It doesn't, that doesn't make you be pride because a lot of people, guys, when the devil blesses them, they become arrogant. They become prideful. God's not blessing them because if God bless them with whatever they're being arrogant and prideful from, he'll take it away. But sometimes the devil could give it to, you know, to them, whatever they had to do. Okay, so and that's why there, there's you know, and once when God's blessing, right, it, you become more of a humble person. Okay, but you know, when God the devil's blessing you, okay, you're more arrogant, you're more prideful, you start to feel like you're above other people. But guys, when we all die, we all turn to dust. We all turn to dust, man. So, you know, these are the seven signs God's opening new doors of opportunity. I had a brother send me this shirt. It's called Healthy Motion. And uh, if you guys want to go check out his brand, I'll leave a link in the description. So yeah, I love the color of this shirt too, it's awesome. Okay, number one is you have been praying and seeking and asking. Number two is God will bring people in your life in a higher position to elevate you. Number three is the door will give you many confirmations. Number four is you have been seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Number five is you will feel lonely, alone, discomfort, much is given, much is required. Number six is opportunities will come with you with no sorrow. Number seven is God will use that opportunity to draw you closer to him and to humble you or to keep you humble. I should say to keep you, you know, stay humble. So, you know, you don't get prideful or arrogant or puffed up. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, check out this end screen right here. And if you haven't already, make sure you all smash the like button, share this video on all social media platforms, and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.